The last few years in the automotive industry brought numerous comebacks, and while most of them were nothing more than a marketing trick, a few of them were genuine. The Bronco definitely belongs to the second group. A few years ago, the Blue Oval Company decided to bring back one of its biggest icons after three decades, and from this point, we can clearly say that Ford did a fantastic job. The Bronco seems better than ever, whether it's about style or off-road performance. But somehow, Ford still can't catch up with Jeep in terms of sales numbers. It may be that buyers appreciate Wrangler's consistency, or the reason may actually be way more practical. Maybe the new Bronco still needs additional polishing to beat Jeep's icon. We will find out soon because the all-new 2024 Ford Bronco brings some pretty interesting novelties to take you to the best off-road adventure. Buckle up, we are about to start. The Raptor moniker always takes the most special place in Ford's range, no matter the model. And the Bronco, of course, is no exception. Even though all Broncos are great off-roaders, this is the ultimate machine, equipped with the most powerful engine option and a full load of off-road upgrades. Moreover, it also stands out with its unique styling details, which are about to become even more numerous. Namely, the 2024 Ford Bronco Raptor won't get a more powerful engine to match Rubicon 392, but it will get a full load of new styling details to attract new customers. The new big thing comes in the form of the orange code package, and as you may presume, there is a full load of orange details, starting from the massive decal on the side, which covers most of the SUV's second half. The same color characterizes tow hooks, as well as beadlock rings. We hope that the cabin upgrades are about to follow the same approach, but the officials are still quiet on this matter. For now, the only thing that seems certain is orange seat belts that will contrast the black color scheme. As for the seats, stitching and other accents, things are still unclear, but we would definitely expect to see some of that in the orange code. The story about the 2024 Ford Bronco Raptor updates won't end with the new orange code package. A few more novelties are about to come, such as the available paint matching fenders, which will be available in the Bronco for the first time. Also, let's not forget a couple of new paints. Velocity Blue, which has been available in base Broncos so far, as well as the all-new Shelter Green, which is about to pay homage to Ford's history of making off-road vehicles for the U.S. Army during World War II. Just like most other car makers, Ford's management has learned long ago that the easiest way to earn more is to give buyers the opportunity to customize. Various color options, appearance packages, and exclusive features are just some of the things that come to mind, so it seems a little bit strange that the 2023 model comes only in three trim levels. But this will change very soon, because the 2024 Ford Bronco will double the number. Three more versions of this off-roader are coming, and although the officials are yet to provide the specifics, it's pretty easy to figure out that each one is targeting a specific group of potential buyers only by reading their names. For example, one of them is called Work Trim, which clearly indicates that this is going to be a bare-boned version of the SUV, free of almost every convenience feature, with the goal to cut the price and make off-roading affordable. On the other hand, the new premium trim will be the opposite, a fully loaded Bronco with premium materials, a full load of tech features and other amenities. Finally, there is the new Heritage Plus trim, and as you may presume, this should be a step above the standard Heritage model, which offers a good portion of resemblance with the original 1966 Bronco. We presume it would bring the same old school Oxford white trim and roof, but with a few additional upgrades, such as more luxury and tech features. There is one more reason why the current Bronco can't keep up with the Wrangler in terms of sales numbers. Namely, you probably know that the next generation Ranger is coming to North America soon, and that it will be produced in the same Michigan plant as the Bronco. Considering that the two models share a lot of parts, it makes perfect sense. However, that also causes a lot of trouble for the Bronco at the moment, because the company is currently busy setting up the production lines for the new pickup. For that reason, the Bronco hasn't been produced in full capacity in the last few months, but according to Ford North American Production Communications Director Mike Levine, the production of the 2024 Ford Bronco will once again be at full capacity. Because of the limited production capacity, 
some versions of the Bronco haven't been available for a while. For example, buyers currently can't get the Everglade model or the manual transmission. We understand that once the production is at full capacity again, this trim level and the seven speed stick are going to be on offer again. The Bronco is currently available with three powertrains and while all of them offer respectable performance, the offer is not as diverse as in the case of the key rival. The Wrangler has been available with a super capable V8 engine for a while, as well as in an electrified variant with a plug-in hybrid setup. And while we are not sure about Ford's plans to match the Rubicon 392 in terms of power, there are some pretty clear indicators of electrification. Namely, it's no secret that the Blue Oval Company is working on a new plug-in hybrid setup. Just like the development of the Ranger, this powertrain is in the hands of engineers from the Australian department. Logically, the initial version of this powertrain will debut down under, not just in the Australian spec Ranger, but also in the model called Everest. For those unfamiliar with this nameplate, this is a classic body-on-frame midsize SUV sold in Australia and surrounding markets. So, the fact that this SUV shares the platform with Ranger and therefore Bronco suggests that the North American legend could also benefit from this powertrain. At this point, details are still unavailable and the only thing we know so far is that the system will most likely be based on a 2.3 liter turbo 4 engine. We presume that the goal is to offer something similarly powered to Jeep's 4XE system, which puts out around 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. In the case of Wrangler, this system also provides 49 miles per gallon equivalent and 21 miles of the all-electric range. We presume Ford engineers will try to beat at least some of these numbers. The rest of the lineup will remain the same, consisting of three turbocharged engines. Base models will carry on with a good old 2.3 liter turbo 4, which puts out 300 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. More expensive variants are also available with a 2.7 liter turbocharged V6 with 330 horsepower and quite impressive 415 pound-feet of torque, while the high output 418 horsepower 3.0 liter twin turbo V6 will remain reserved for the Bronco Raptor. Whether the new plug-in hybrid happens or not, Ford engineers will have to pay more attention to the current gas-only engines, because two of these three units don't seem particularly reliable at the moment. The base Turbo 4 seems to have a problem with the turbo wastegate, which causes occasional loss of power. On the other hand, problems with the 2.7-liter V6 seem way bigger because numerous owners already encountered low mileage failures. Moreover, the Blue Oval Company faced a few more issues with the Bronco, including tie rod brakes, brakes, and in-car electronics issues, etc. As for the transmission, we've already mentioned that the manual should come back next year. Some sources speculate about modifications that would make it able to handle more torque, which means it could be paired with the V6 as well. We are not really sure about this, and we think this transmission is more likely to remain available only with the Turbo 4, the 10-speed automatic, on the other hand, couples with all three units. The 2024 Ford Bronco is already available to order, as the books have been opened a few days ago. However, the first deliveries won't happen before November, as that's when the production in the Michigan plant is about to start. Traditionally, the Bronco comes in an incredibly broad price range. Depending on the version you choose, this off-roader can cost anywhere between the mid $30,000 and $90,000 which is how much the Raptor would cost you. What do you think about the 2024 Ford Bronco? Does it finally have what it takes to overthrow the Wrangler? Would you buy an electrified Bronco? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.